CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 101 through 105. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 101. A company is upgrading one of its computer systems and plans to reuse an old hard drive that previously stored sensitive employee information. Which of the following drive repurposing methods would be best to use in this scenario? The answer is C. Low-level formatting. If there's a need to repurpose a drive with sensitive information, low-level formatting goes beyond just deleting files and folders. It also resets the drive's internal structure to its factory default state. This comprehensive process erases not only visible data, but also any hidden remnants that might be in unused areas of the drive. By returning the drive to its original configuration, it significantly reduces the chance of any sensitive information remaining. This makes low-level formatting more effective than standard formatting or data wiping for ensuring thorough data erasure. Question 102. An IT technician needs to deploy a new software application across a large enterprise, ensuring compliance with the U law while minimizing license management complexity. The goal is to cover all users within the company without needing individual licenses for each user. Which type of software license should the technician choose? The answer is B. Corporate Use License. A corporate use license is specifically designed for organizations. It allows the software to be used by multiple users within the company under a single licensing agreement. This type of license simplifies license management by reducing the need to handle individual licenses for each user, ensuring compliance with the U law and making it easier to manage the software deployment across the entire enterprise. Question 103. An IT administrator is tasked with designing and implementing a server backup system that minimizes the storage capacity used. To achieve this, they are considering using synthetic full backups. Which backup approach should they use alongside synthetic full backups to best meet their goal? The answer is A. Incremental. Incremental backups are ideal with synthetic full backups because they only save data changed since the last backup, significantly reducing storage use. Synthetic full backups then combine the last full backup with all incremental backups to create a new full backup efficiently. This minimizes storage requirements and optimizes backup processes. Question 104. A system administrator is noticing that virtual machines running on a Type 2 hypervisor are sluggish, particularly during software builds and source code compilations. To enhance the hypervisor's performance, which component should the system administrator most likely upgrade? The answer is A. Quantity of RAM. Upgrading the system RAM will improve the performance of the Type 2 hypervisor especially during resource-intensive tasks like software builds and compilations. More RAM allows virtual machines to operate more efficiently, reducing lag and improving overall performance. Question 105. A technician has successfully implemented a production system change that was authorized by the Change Advisory Board. What should the technician do next to comply with the change management process? The answer is, D. Record the date and time the change took place in the change log. After implementing an authorized change, it is essential for the technician to document the date and time of the change in the change log. By documenting the date and time, the organization can track when the change was made, which helps in future troubleshooting, auditing, and compliance efforts. It also ensures accountability and provides a clear timeline for any post-change evaluations or follow-ups. This practice supports the overall integrity and reliability of the change management process. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.